is the one that steps away first, but Martin Brennan looking round for company. And as we expected, they're crawling through the first 100 yards or so. And this is going to lead, leave uh, this open to uh, who quickens the best in the closing stages. Strath Royal is a horse that invariably comes from behind. He's got quite a good turn of foot. And he's in front, just lobbing down the hill on the side of the course from simply dashing in second place. And then seven towers. It tends to carry his head very low, very honest looking gallop. But Boss Doyle and Egg Scarter Fee is the back marker of the five. A long run to the first fence as they start their way down the back straight then. And it's Strath Royal in the black and white jacket, seven towers in second. Simply dashing towards the inside, Boss Doyle and Egg Carter Fee. Boss Doyle went to two to one on the off. And they all cleared the first down the back safely. Strath Royal and seven towers. The second is an open ditch. Two leaders take it well. Simply dashing towards the inside then. Start a feed out wide of the Irish Raider Boss Doyle. On towards the water jump, and uh, Scarterfee just dropped his uh, hind legs in the water there. It didn't stop him at all. Just a small little puddle. The evidence as they take the next. So still a very steady early pace in this Charlie Hall chase. A long way to go, of course. Well over a circuit, about a second and a half still to go, as they continue on towards the next. And Strath Royal clears it well from seven towers, simply dashing on the inside. And for those theorists who think simply dashing might have the legs of his rivals here in a slowly run race where they've got their slowly run race. And he certainly looks well I, today, simply dashing. He's had a couple of soft palate operations to improve his breathing. And a uh, very decent horse when he's right. Sick from the Gold Cup last season. Escarta Feig and Bostor, the front two in the betting just at the back at this stage. Bostor held up in last place by Tony McCoy. They start down the straight. This is a, an open ditch coming up. It's a, a tricky fence. Strath Royal over first from seven towers, simply dashing. Boss Doyle and Escarta Feig. Fences here at Weatherby invariably take some jumping they're big and black full of foreboding the plain fence strath royal pops over seven towers simply dashing tucked away towards the inside under lork and wire and there's scarter feig and boss doyle scarter feig just put himself right at that He's been beaten twice over fences at Scarter Feig. He's made a very promising start to his chasing career. He's near top class over hurdles, over a distance as they take uh, the next fence, and that'll be the last after another circuit. Uh, the pace a little bit more generous, but still Martin Brennan on Strath Royal, looking round to see where the others are. I think he uh, was particularly anxious to make the running, but he's led for. A circuit, seven towers, just second, Escarta Feig in the black and white hoop jacket there. Adrian Maguire just getting a little bit closer now on the favourite. A horse who David Nicholson, his trainer, describes as possibly the best three-mile chase prospect he's ever trained. Simply dashing, and Bostor now the last two. Down the side of the course they go once again. And they'll swing left-handed into the back straight. A line of five fences awaiting them down there. The first will be the tenth of 18 they have to jump in all. Strath Royal from Escarta Feet. Boss Doyle simply dashing. And seven towers. It's teed up nicely. Jim. What do you think? Well, they just wound the pace up a bit, and uh, it's a Scarter Feig who was a little bit sloppy early on, but he's moving best now. They've got another eight to jump. This is an open ditch they're coming to, and this time Strathroy asked there. Seven Towers is a bit slow at that one. He's been getting a, a bit leg weary. He's come back from a long absence today. Strathroy is quickening it up all the time. Escarta Feig, though, has him in his sights in second place. And then Boss Doyle and Simply Dashing as they take the next plain one. Seven Towers is about 12 lengths behind, last of the five. They race towards the last in the back straight, and Escarta Feig 
is running very strongly indeed now on the outside of Strathroyal. Another plain one. The two leaders take it as one. Boss Doyle is niggled along in third, trying to get a bit closer. He's a horse that battles very well, Boss Doyle. If it comes down to a fifth fight, then uh, he's one I'd like to be on. Simply dashing his back in fourth now, being asked to keep up with them. And it's Strathroyal and Escarta Feig, and Escarta Feig appears to be travelling the best, doesn't he, as they prepare to swing the corner with four fences left to jump. The final open ditch coming up. Strathroyal on the inside of Escarta Feig. Boss Doyle is running on again now in the orange sleeve jacket, simply dashing. He's wider out, almost four in a line down to the final ditch. Boss Doyle got in a bit close, may have landed in front. Strathroyal, Escarta Feig is now coming under quite strong pressure. Urgent reminders from Adrian Maguire, not much response, simply dashing, don't forget him towards the outside. Three out, Boss Doyle and Strathroyal, simply dashing in third, Escarta Feig hasn't picked up at all back in fourth, and Seven Towers is last. Now, can Strathroyal cause a real upset here? Over two out, Boss Doyle is two lengths down, simply dashing, still staying on towards the outside. They're well clear of Escarta Feig and Seven Towers, the final fence, and it's the old man, Strathroyal. Boss Doyle is rallying second, simply dashing third over the last Strathroyal has made it all practically all so far Boss Doyle switches inside under the man McCoy then simply dashing back in third but Strathroyal is going to lead all the way and cause a real surprise in the Charlie Hall Strathroyal the winner Boss Doyle second simply dashing back in third Escarta Vig only just holds on for fourth ahead of Seven Towers who ran a pretty good race he was running on at the finish needs an each, at least an extra mile but uh, we've got a real turn up here because Strathroyal in a falsely run race has made his own runny. Martin Brennan has dictated matters from the start, wound it up for most of the final circuit. Escarta Feig looked a big danger turning for home, definitely appeared to be travelling best on the turn, but frankly ran like a horse that just blew up today. Strathroyal, a real tremendous servant to trainer Owen Brennan and his son Martin Brenham as we watch the closing stages Boss Doyle had run a little bit in snatches for the final mile uh, looked to be rallying approaching the second last but on the run for home Strathroyal is keeping up a relentless gallop Boss Doyle, Tony tried to switch him inside that sometimes gets another run out of a tired horse but he was not to, to get to this old horse in front 12 years old Strathroyal and wins this Charlie Hall chase today well, a 12th, um, a 20th career win for Strathroyal, and he had the benefit of a run. What a wonderful servant he's been, and they ambled round for the first circuit. They let him get into a rhythm, and well, he may have been the old man of the party, but he still can leg it, and he was too quick for them up the straight. Going to four out. And they queued up behind. Seven Towers being tapped for pace at the end of the back straight. Here, Escada Feet just head goes up on one side as they come to jump the open ditch. Almost four in a line, as Simon called at this time. Boss Doyle lands in the lead, just pecks a little bit on landing. But Strathroyal isn't to be denied. He starts to rally. Lorcan Wire tries to get a run out of simply dashing, but he's been niggled along from some way out. Escada Feig not knocked about by Adrian Maguire, and let's not forget he was conceding weight. Eight pounds is a big impost. He's got tired from there onwards, and uh, he just concentrated on uh, getting him home in one piece. Strathroyal, though, still looks as though he's going to be pressed hard by Boss Doyle, but from here on, he holds him. He keeps pulling out a little bit more. He's a real tough old campaigner. Look at the sweat down either side of his um, shoulders. But that's typical of him, he's a, just a natural pot. But jumps the last well and then responds bravely. And the Brennan family, they don't have a big string, but they've got one or two good horses, they always have had. And this one will hold a very special place.